Hello my fellow doctors fighting the COVID on the trenches in the hospitals day in and day out. You are the real warriors. So I want to add some real good news, some real good research, how we can manage the COVID patients better. So in this context, today I want to quickly review all the controversies, the randomized controlled trial findings about a very wonderful drug that you all should know, should believe the research findings. So, toclizumab, toclizumab. So, what is the main reason we are losing the patients in COVID? It is a cytokine storm. Suddenly the inflammatory mediators like an atom bomb are being released, which is the main reason that is leading to the whole problem of cascade of events. Toclizumab, steroids, or anyone is trying to bring down this inflammatory reaction. So this is a wonderful article in Lancet I'm leaving the reference to you uh, in the footnote of this YouTube video. Toclizumab in COVID-19, some clarity in the middle of controversy. A wonderful, well-researched article in Lancet on May 1st, 2021. So we all know that we give steroids. Steroids quite early in order to not let the inflammatory trigger to happen also. So what is toclizumab? Toclizumab is a recombinant humanized monoclonal antibody. So it is like a antibody against a cytokine. So against the interleukin-6, it will go and bind and prevent the interleukin-6 from leading to all that cytokine cascade. So originally the virus came from China, observations also came from China. So early observations from the China have proven that toclizumab is useful in COVID-19. Subsequently they conducted a randomized control trial. So this is called the RIMAP cap, randomized embedded multifactorial adaptive platform trial for community acquired pneumonia, very long name, right? Yeah, all the studies are like that. So we are examining the toclizumab in COVID-19 and it has shown a clear survival benefit. But the limitation of the RIMAP cap study was that it was given to critically ill patients. Then is there any way that we can give toclizumab for the hospitalized but non critically ill patients? So that is the whole purpose. So there was a randomized evaluation for COVID-9 therapy collaborative group called recovery group and they have done a recovery trial. So this was typically done in around 177 sites in the UK between April 14, 2020 to Jan 24, 2021. So they have typically taken the patients who are not very severe like whose oxygen saturation but still severe not very severe so the to say severe the selection criteria was oxygen saturation was less than 92 and c reactive protein is more than 75 and there is no other infection totally 4116 adults had been taken and uh, out of them 2022 were given toclizumab and 2094 without toclizumab and what is the end result of this uh, randomized trial randomized trials have a good evidence value so those who are in the toclizumab group are more likely to be discharged from the hospital within 28 days than the patients who are on the usual care group so that is all the recovery trial giving us a good news about how the toclizumab is going to help. If you want more information, 
you may kindly visit this uh, Lancet site where you can review the toclizumab in COVID-19, some clarity amid controversy. So dear friends, research helps the clinicians working on the trench, working in the middle of the battle to pick up that clues and treat the patient scientifically and save a lot of lives. Dr. Murli Bharadwaj, always with you.